Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, children of the world, parents, guardians of our children. Um, welcome back to another episode of Together We Can. My name is Queenie and it is hot and hot and hot. As you can see, I'm sweating buckets in here, like in my own home because I can't turn on the aircon because it will have like all these little noises and I can't even turn on the like open the balcony door because it's noisy outside. I don't know what's happening out there, but it's noisy. So, you know what? Let's sweat it together. Let's um, you know, get together and do one activity and one topic together this this um week. So, this week's episode or right, this week's activity is a no sew pillow cover um using our tank top um so basically using whatever we have at home right um you know because we're not able to go outside to buy anything that we want um we gotta be resourceful and use what's available at home and so um i know a lot of us we have clothes that no longer fit us but we just don't you know don't have the time or or, or the bother to to donate it or we just keep it around and so I was like, oh, let's let's figure out what we can do to make something new out of old, right? Um, and so we're gonna pull a tank top from your closet. That's a little bit too small for you. As you can see, I have a tank top over here. It's it's a tad too small for me, so it's pretty inappropriate for me to be wearing it outside. So uh, you know what? Let's turn this tank top into a pillowcase, a no sew pillowcase. Even better. So tank top, pillow, and all we're gonna do, because the best thing about a tank top is the sides of your tank top are already sewn. So we're gonna e not even gonna touch that. We don't have to do anything. We're gonna utilize what is already done and make it better. So all we're gonna do is at the bottom of the tank top, we're gonna cut vertical strips up to two inch, two inch vertical strips all across the bottom. And then we're also going to cut two vertical, we're going to cut vertical strips on the top, on the top of your tank top as well. And then basically we're going to tie the strips together to um, form a seam. And then we can stuff the pillow and then, and then tie the top again. So we're basically creating a pillow cover for our pillow. So, um... So that's it. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay. So go ahead, find your tank top. Doesn't it doesn't have to be black. I know I'm being boring right now, but this is one of my um, tops that it's too small, and I yeah. And so um, you can decorate. You can choose any other colors that you want. Don't be boring like me. Um, but if you want to be use black, go ahead, use black. Um, and yeah, come back. Okay.
So, we're back and we have completed our pillow. At the end of the day, no one's gonna know this came, the pillowcase came from a tank top that you know you used to wear um, when you were younger. So it's also a little bit of a sentimental value that you can sort of reuse uh, what you had, what you used to wear and no longer can wear because you've grown out of it into something um, that you can actually use. And so that's uh, what we call recycling and being creative and doing something, you know, reusing what is sentimental to us to make it into something else. And that's what creativity does for us, right? And so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that activity. So this week's um, topic, um, I really want to inspire kids and their parents, the guardians of the child to really dive into their interests and do research about their interests. Um, it can be as, you know, as fun of an interest or as a serious interest as they want it to be. Uh, the interest that we have, it's always at the surface level, right? And, but if you do some research about other people who are interested in the same thing, you will gain a new perspective from others. So it creates a bigger picture. Um, and so it widens your scope and helps you understand whether you are in the right interests or in the uh, or there may be a new interest that you that further touches your heart. And so that's what I want to do for this week is to inspire children to, to inspire parents or guardians of the children to do a deeper dive of their interests by seeking out these research opportunities it really does widen your scope and it inspires you to you know deep do a deep dive of your interests um, and it helps you understand are you in the right interests are you really passionate because if you find yourself doing research for with your interests because you want to you're in the right field but if you are not doing if you're not if you have zero interest you're not going to seek it out right so this week is really to inspire you to seek out your interests do further deep dive in on uh, research um because again you know it really broadens your perspective and so that's the goal is to what do you not know today that you want to know tomorrow um and so with that that completes this week's one activity one topic uh episode um, children, be amazing. Parents, guardians of the ch child, children, be amazing because children are the future of our path, and they, and so let's set those platforms for them. Um, have a wonderful rest of the week, and maybe I'll see you next week. Bye now.